Hey, good morning, First Family. Thanks for joining us here on our first day of our online prayer gathering uh, Tuesday morning. And it's so good to be with you all. And as we kick off this month of prayer, as we do these uh, daily weekday um, online prayer gatherings, we're going to start each morning by just singing to the Lord and opening his word and praying together. And so this morning, as we posture our hearts before the Lord to come before him in prayer, let's just sing together this morning whether we're in our living rooms, whether we're still in bed, whether we're waking up, making breakfast, let's posture our hearts before the Lord as we sing to him this morning. All right, come on.
Welcome today to the first of our online prayer gatherings. Really glad you've joined us and just hope you've gathered around your device with your family, maybe some friends, and uh, just take a few minutes here each day now during the week before our uh, closing prayer in-person gathering to, to read the Word, a verse or so a day, and then to pray in relation to that verse. And so today's text is 1 Peter 3, verse 14. Here's how the Lord would instruct us regarding suffering. He says, Even if you should suffer for righteousness' sake, you will be blessed. So have no fear of them or be troubled. Them, of course, referring to those who would slander us or try to harm us when we're doing good or doing God's will. He says, in those moments, you're blessed and not to be afraid or the word there is anxious or troubled. Interesting, isn't it? He even says later in this same context that it's better to suffer for doing good if that should be God's will than for doing evil. So he uses the word better and the word blessed to describe the, the disposition, the attitude of those who are suffering for righteousness sake. And he says that should replace an attitude of fear or of anxiety. And so when we are enduring, when we're persevering, when we're experiencing times of suffering, hostility, uh, being reviled, or as he says here, suffering for righteousness sake, it's not a moment to be anxious, troubled, or fearful. It's actually a moment, an opportunity to realize we're blessed. And in this text, he says, you will be blessed. There's a real positive affirmation, a confirmation of what God will do for those who suffer for righteousness sake. And so if that is your experience today, if you're in that situation, here's how we want to pray. And we want to pray this for those who are in this situation, perhaps in other parts of the world, or if you are, if you know of those who are. Let's pray to this end today as we begin um, meeting daily in this online fashion and praying regarding suffering. Let's pray this way today, that we will consider ourselves blessed, have confidence in God's blessing of us in those moments, and that God will drive out fear from us and remove anxiety from us. Let's pray to that end today, very specifically, very pointedly for ourselves, if we were to encounter this kind of hostility, and for sure for those around the globe that we know of who are enduring this type of persecution, that God will drive out fear, remove anxiety, and instead uh, replace that with a, a real, um, sense of being blessed because of the very suffering they are enduring.